the guy that makes you enforce all the smoking rules. was about me. <laughs> surprise, surprise, ain't nobody. Oh man, oh, I've been having a lot of fun recently. This this winter, my grandma bought me a Carhartt hoodie. It's a whole lot of fun. I needed it because I needed some tougher clothes. Carhartt only has three weaknesses. That is bleach, mustard, and cum, right? <laughs> I got all three on it in 20 minutes. <laughs> Can't a man eat a hot dog in peace? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, but she ordered it offline, and I really don't like online shopping. It, it, it takes the, uh, the shoplifting out of it. Oh, yeah. Am I right? It takes the shoplifting. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of white room. I said it in a predominantly black room the other day. It got so quiet, you can hear a hair pick drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's fun. That's fun to... TJ Maxx is working on doing stuff about uh, shoplifting, though. They're uh, in instituting body cams on all their employees, which I don't know how that's going to help with any theft at all, but they're taking a lot of training, and they're going to be trained up by the people that train police on how to use their body cams. So good news, theft has not gone down, but they have found six black men dead at TJ Maxx this week. <laughs> And none of the footage is ready to be recovered. <laughs> Happy Juneteenth, y'all. Happy Juneteenth from the white guy in the line. Of <laughs> oh man, oh man. Since y'all like that so much, we'll go to homeless people for a minute. <laughs> Recently they came out and they said you should address homeless people as unhoused. I think that's rubbing salt in the wound. It's very, very obvious, right? I think we should address them as unhappy campers, right? <laughs> right? Right? I'm an Eagle Scout, man. I've been happy camping for my whole life. Nobody takes too much medicine, ties a tourniquet, and an afternoon nap if you're happy camping. Nobody does that. No, no, no. But man, uh, you know, a lot of people travel to Appalachia just to camp, and I'm finally seeing a whole bunch of homeless people here, and that's a kind of a sad statement if you just listen to it like that. <laughs> but I've found something that makes it a little bit happier, maybe. Think of it like Bob Ross painting an unhappy accident, right? <laughs> I, I don't have a good Bob Ross impersonation. You're gonna have to hear Bobby Jr. Ross. <laughs> but just imagine it with me here. Mixing up my paint here, you know, I think I'm gonna make me a refrigerator box, you know. Got a little bit of brown, but we'll mix a little blue in. This one comes from Lowe's, all right? Mm -hmm. I'll take my blade here and pull it down. All right, now we're gonna go over here, and there's an underpass over here, and I believe there's somebody sleeping right here. So you're gonna pull your blade down just a little bit right there. The more you pull it down, the more comfortable they are. So just keep going, how much makes you feel good? There's another one over this way. A few over this one, and that makes you happy and laughing if you think about it as Bob Ross. But when I think about it and you zoom out, you see Uncle Sam. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right. I'll get out of that. But speaking of happy accidents, my son just turned 11 years old. How about that? <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, little guy. Oh man, he he's a trick though. I'm afraid he's going to be smarter than me, right? He came with me the other day, he said, Dad, what's the deal with forearms? We only got two of them. I'm like, damn, Slick, you got me. <laughs> you got me, buddy. I can't do nothing about that. But I'm going to work real hard this next couple of years keeping foreskins away from him because I know I can explain more than one way with the doctor, but I just don't have words for the other three. <laughs> and he was texting me the other day, and he was like, Dad, it's dinner time, I can't text you right now. And I texted him back and I said, boy, I'm high as fuck and driving. You can do better than that. <laughs> and that's what he said too. <laughs> oh man, I don't have much more for y'all. Buddy called me the other day and he's like, you think a Bill Clinton statue should be erected? I said, I don't think he'd have it any other way. <laughs> 
where else are you gonna keep that large, robust saxophone? <laughs> I said that to a bunch of 20-somethings the other day, and they were like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> All right, this is my last one. I'll get out of here on this, man. Y'all heard of Murphy's Law, right? When what can go wrong will go wrong? But have you heard of Cole's Law? Thinly sliced cabbage and a mayonnaise based sauce. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully that's enough to get me on Parkway Road Monday. I'll see y'all later.